I've done most of the things that I've done. But it did help me to continue my education at Berkeley, as did the co-ops, on which I depended for daily sustenance. That's what we call co-op meals, a hearty sustenance. <laughs> So as a veteran boarder at uh, Oxford, Bridge, and the Shepherd was closer to where I would happen to be living at the time. But the co-op was more than a place to eat. I thrived on the conversations, the camaraderie, the lifelong friendships. And I appreciated, appreciated the ideas of the cooperative movement, not only in Berkeley, but nationally. The political life at Berkeley was for a time diverse and frenetic. I was in some ways the class rebel, that is the class of 51, the rebel with a cause. I ran four times for ASUC Executive Committee, emulating my boyhood hero, Eugene Debs. And four times I went down to a resounding defeat. <laughs> Despite the endorsement I received from the UC Cooperative Association and the Council of House Presidents. In fact, I even still have a uh, this is a memo from, this is the USCA News, December the 9th, 1949. I'm not on the front page. The front page headline is, Barrington is set for September opening. But I lost those elections. Somehow a platform calling for abolition of the loyalty of the abolition of ROTC and protecting the rights of student workers and any discrimination, housing, and hiring didn't quite make it for the student electorate. Most of it concentrated along Piedmont Avenue. You know, when I look at that platform today, more than 50 years later, that was a damn good platform. Yeah.